In this video we are going to talk about the Bolts Power Indicator. It is drawn in a separate window below the candles. The Bolts Power Indicator basically can tell us if the bolts are stronger than the bears. Whenever those lines of the histogram are above the zero line, we will put out a buy signal here. And whenever the direction changes and the histogram is drawn below the zero line, that would be a sell signal. Okay? To create the indicator and the expert advisor that is going to trade it, you need to click on the little button here or press F4 on your keyboard. And now you should see the meta editor window and here you want to click on file, new, expert advisor from template, continue. I will call this file simple bulls power, click on continue, continue and finish. And now you can remove everything above the on tick function and the two command lines here. Let's create a string variable for the signal here. I will also call it signal. It doesn't contain a value so far because that is what we are going to calculate in this simple expert advisor. And to do that we can use the iBolts power function that is included in MQL4 that will calculate the bolts power indicator and return its value. Now what is meant by value? If we pause the execution here, we will have a value, in this case it's 0 0.0006 and that matches the value of the last bar here of the histogram. And to calculate it we need to pass a few parameters. The first one is the current symbol on the chart. The second parameter is for the selected period on your chart. In my case I'm trading a 1 minute chart. The period could also be something like 5 minutes, 15 minutes and so on. And underscore period makes sure that we are calculating the correct period that is the period from the chart you are trading right now. The next parameter has the value 13 and when you click on insert indicators oscillators bolts power you will see the period has a value of 13 and we calculate the value based on the close price and that's exactly why the 13 is used here as the third parameter and price underscore close is parameter number four. Well this last parameter stands for the shift. What is a shift? Actually you can move the current indicator value to the right or to the left depending on the shift value. We don't want to do that so we use zero and if the bulls value is above zero and the histogram is drawn above the line here we consider that to be a buy signal. So we assign the word buy to our signal variable. In the other case if the bolts value is below zero or in MQL4 if bolts power value is smaller than zero we assign the word sell to our signal. And last but not least we create a screen output by using the built-in command function to output the words bolts power value followed by the calculated value and in a new line we output signal followed by the calculated signal. Okay, that's it. Now you can click on the compile button here or press F7 to compile your code. And that should work without any errors. And in that case you can click on the button here or press F4 to go back to MetaTrader. And in MetaTrader we will use a little trick. Please click on insert, indicators, oscillators, bolts power. Click OK. Now the bolts power indicator will be drawn on your chart. And now we right click in the chart, select template, save template and save it as tester.tpl because that is the template that is going to be used for your next backtest. To start the strategy tester you can click on view, 
Strategy Tester or press Ctrl and R. Please select the newly created SimpleBullsPower.ex4 file and start your test. And now you should see the little Expert Advisor at work. It creates an output for the current Bulls power value. And below that you see a buy or a sell signal. On a real account you would combine the signal of the Bulls power value to something like a trend following indicator and use it as a filter. But for now you know how to create an expert advisor that is able to create the output for the Bulls power value and you have coded it yourself with a few lines of MQL4 code.